Hi guys, welcome back. If you have been following me for a while, you might remember that last year, around this time, I was trying out a weight loss program called Octavia or Take Shape for Life. So today I wanted to come to you one year later and give you my thoughts about the program, how it went for me, and where I'm at now. I realize that this is a little bit different from my typical content, but some of the video reviews that I made when I was doing that program are among some of my most viewed on my channel, and so I thought I should come on here and do a little bit of an update. If you aren't familiar with it, Take Shape for Life is a pretty regimented weight loss program, which involves eating six meals a day. Five of those are fuelings that you purchase from the Octavia company, and one of them is a meal that you prepare yourself that is basically lean meat and lots of low-carb veggies. So it is a low-fat, low-carb, very low-calorie diet. Okay, all of that said, I hardcore did this program for, uh, I would say, like 12 to 14 weeks, and then it kind of tapered off from there. I am no longer doing it, and I wanted to give you some thoughts about the program as a whole. So first of all, is it an effective way to lose a lot of weight quickly? Yes, it definitely works. <laughs> if you follow the program, if you do exactly what you're supposed to do, you will lose a lot of weight pretty quickly. Within just over 12 weeks, a year ago, I lost almost 40 pounds. So that's a lot in three months. That is a lot of weight lost. The bigger question, however, is whether it is sustainable as a lifestyle. And I realize that people that work for the company, because it is sort of a, to some extent, pyramid company, um, and like I said, I do think it's effective. I do think the products work, but they are very expensive, number one, and it wasn't something that I could keep up with paying for the cost of long term. And number two, I think it is really hard to eat this way regularly in the long run. I'm going to get a little bit more into detail here, but my overall thoughts on this program are it is a very effective way to lose a lot of weight quickly, but it is expensive and it is not sustainable. Another thing that you may be wondering is have I kept the weight that I lost off? And the answer is some of it, <laughs> but not all of it. I lost about 40 pounds and I have kept off half of that a year later. So I did gain back 20 pounds slowly over the course of that year. I am now doing some other things that I think have much more longevity for me in terms of lifestyle, and I think I will probably, again, lose some weight, but I'm doing something that's gonna take a little bit longer and is something that I think I can live with in the long run. I may talk more about that in future videos, but for this video, we're just talking about Take Shape for Life. So overall, you do lose a lot of weight very quickly, and you might keep some of it off, but if you go back to the way that you were eating before, you are going to start gaining weight back again. And if I hadn't made some changes, I probably would have continued to gain back the weight that I had lost. So in my opinion, I would look at this as a short-term option, but I really wouldn't buy into it as a long-term solution. And the thing is, is I think it is really pushed as a lifestyle choice, but I don't think it is a sustainable one in the long-term for most people. And let me give you a few reasons for that. Number one, the cost, which I already mentioned. It is very expensive to do this. The amount of products that you are purchasing to eat in a month, um, especially if you're on a budget and are used to cooking for a family, it's, it's very expensive. I was spending around $400 a month, plus the cost of high quality vegetables and lean protein for my one meal a day. So the amount of money that we were spending on food just for me was astronomical. <laughs> there are lots of kind of more sustainable healthy diets where you don't need to spend nearly that much money even for getting high quality food from a grocery store. They may be more expensive but they're not going to be as expensive as this. So the first downside to this is that it is a very pricey lifestyle in the long run. The other problem with it is this issue of hunger. So when you are really following it to a T, you probably won't feel super hungry most of the time. But if you get off track, which I think because it's so structured is easy to do, you're going to feel pretty hungry and you're not going to feel great. And I think it's just hard because it doesn't make a lot of space for holidays. It doesn't make a lot of space for eating out with people. I mean, you can if you're in the right place. You can find a way to do it, but it's not easy to work your life into it. And like I said, there's only one meal a day that you're making for yourself. So 
yes, can you go out with people if you go someplace where you can just get protein and vegetables? Sure, but then that's your one meal, and then the rest of the time you're eating these prepackaged foods, which again, I mean, I question in the long run whether it's really the best thing for your body. People are split on that issue. I do have friends who still continue to use their products, who still continue to follow this intermittently, and I think if it is working for you, that is great, but I think overall my take on it is that it is effective in the short term but is not really a sustainable lifestyle and is really expensive and therefore not something that's going to be accessible to most people just based on cost alone. So those are my thoughts about Take Shape for Life and Octavia one year later. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know if you have had different experiences or if you have any questions for me about any of this. I know that the videos that I made when I was on this program a year ago have been very much watched and I thought that it would be a great idea to make an update so that you guys kind of know where I'm at now and what I think with a year's removal from being in the middle of it. I know I've said it before, but overall thoughts, it's effective in the short term, it's not sustainable, it's very expensive. Talk to me in the comments down below if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.